Good morning. Um, my name is Diana Vondra, and um, my hobby happens to be at the moment doing Ballard Buddies down at the beach. Um, we put them up each year between uh, Christmas and New Year's, and then I take them down between the first and second week of March. Behind me, you will see some examples of some of the things that we have done. And we have the Queen's Guard over here. Then we have a little gremlin. He was in charge of the um, band this year and finding places for it. Of course, we have the um, pirate who has been out on our very own pirate boat out here, the Red Dragon. Um, we have Coach who's been working very, very hard trying to find a place to, um, to work his trade, but um, with the ball fields shut down and so forth, it's been very difficult. COVID hasn't been nice to him. Then we have Vinny, and Vinny is in charge of the band and booking and so forth. He's a little bit shady, but he works really hard, so he's a fun character. Then here's a few of our band members. We've got Yakety Sex, um, we've got our harmonica player, and of course the leader of the band himself. Um, so these are just a few of the little baller buddies that we have. Now the baller buddies that are down on the beach, there's over 230 of them this year. It started five years ago with 82, and it just keeps growing. And I'm delighted to say um, people, other people, other knitters and crocheters are adding things to it. So it's really quite wonderful to watch it grow all by itself. <clears throat> so why don't you, uh, can you tell us about uh, how they're made? Yes, um, these are all crocheted. The dimensions for making them, you need a 21 inch circumference that is the exact circumference of the bollard itself. Now, the bollards at different points on the beach are different heights. So it can be anywhere from 12 inches in length to up to 25 inches in length. I usually give you a very easy way to do this. If the bollard will slip over your head, as a hat would, it will fit a bollard. The bollard goes from my wrist to my shoulder. If you get it that length, we'll find a dollar for it. Um, there's, oh, let's see, what else can I say? Um, I, when you're selecting yarn to use for this, I would very highly recommend, first of all, using any scraps that you have because you can just make multiple, they just look great, of just little um, rings of color. Pick bright colors if you can. Pick acrylic yarn as opposed to wool or any of the other yarns simply because when I take them down, they have to be washed and cleaned. Wool will shrink on me. I found out the hard way, so use, use my knowledge and don't make that mistake. But um, like I said, we put them up between January, in, in, before January 1st, and um, I staple them in place so they can't come off, no birds are, Turtles or anything are ever going to get hurt with these. They, you can see that they don't come off easy. They don't go on easy either, but they're stapled in place. Many of them are zip tied and they all have a tag on them which asks people to please not remove them or destroy them. That has made a lot of, that has really helped this year. Um, we have had people adding things instead of taking away, so it's been great. Okay, the Baller Buddies do have their very own Facebook page, so I highly recommend that you seek them out at Yarn, yarn Bombing in Port A. Um, you will see there are a couple of different albums there. One is these guys, when they were unemployed, they went all over town and visited all of the local um, fun things to do, like go out on the Red Dragon, like go to the library, um, they just visited uh, the chapel on the hill. They, they were everywhere, down at the beach fishing. So that's one album. That's the unemployed Ballard Buddies. And then the regular Ballard Buddies are the ones that are now down at the beach. So please take a few minutes, go down there, take some pictures. We have some great fun characters from 
Bernie Sanders to uh, Elvis Presley, Willie Nelson. We've got a gang down there, so please come down and enjoy them. Okay, I also invite you, when you uh, make a Beller Buddy, um, some people have gone down there and they put them up in the dead of night or early morning or whenever, but I don't see them, so I don't know who they are. And that's absolutely wonderful. I love finding a brand new one. But there are a couple of rules, and we must be sure that you never put them on over reflective, um, the reflective thing on the Baller Buddy. So those are off limits. And also, if they've got red painted tops, please don't cover those up and don't cover up the blue painted tops. There's a reason that we do them on the um, Nueces County part, and that's because Scott Cross gives us special permission each year to put them up, and we monitor them at least twice a day. And there are several other people besides myself who keep a good eye on them, and um, we have never had any problems with anything uh, as far as any harm being done to anybody or anything. But please bear in mind that don't use something that could be of danger to small children because they do like to go up and hug them and things like that. So bear that in mind as you make your wonderful creations. I can't wait to see them. And um, let's see. Oh, and there are people, maybe it's even more so this year because of COVID, but I, I have had people sending me boxes of Muller Buddies. So it's absolutely wonderful. I've had um, Barb Johnson from um, Oklahoma has sent probably 15 of these. So that is wonderful. Um, I've got some from Reno. I've gotten some from Minnesota, um, Ohio. And it's just wonderful to see people joining in our little um, fun beach parade down here. So I encourage you to make your own.